What's up, guys? I wanted to change up the scenery a little bit today and do a video out here in this parking lot. But I showed up and uh, I didn't realize there was a car show going on. But it's, uh, it's probably nothing y'all want to see. I don't know. Let me not. Let me, I'll leave y'all. I'll let y'all be the judge. But as you can see in the background, man, it's mad cars. But I want, it's not a single Honda out here, man. It's just all domestic, man. All muscle cars and big body. <laughs> so we can uh, do the video I had planned to do for y'all. Alright guys, stay tuned. Okay, this is uh, my 1995 Honda Civic Del Sol SI. This is uh, the single uh, cam version, not the SI VTEC. The uh, Del Sol do come with three different trims. The S, the SI, and the SI VTEC, which has a B16 in it. This is the one with the D16 Z6 and um, it's VTEC. But uh, if you guys go back to my previous videos, uh, you'll notice that when I bought this car, it was complete junk. Um, it was pretty much just a shell. It had no motor in it. And um, the interior was all jacked up. It had a lot of rust and needed a lot of body work. This car and I have went through a lot and came a long way. But what you see here is a D16 Z6 which is the Honda 1.6 liter VTEC motor. Uh, it comes in different other cars like the Del Sol's, uh, some of the Civics. And uh, you know, I'm sure you guys might be, I'm sure you guys are familiar with that motor. But right here uh, in the block, uh, this car, let me, let me backtrack a little bit. This motor you see right now, it's a $60 motor that I found um, on Facebook market. And I took it to uh, a, a friend of mine I got a lot of work done to it, a lot of machine work. So originally it was a 75 millimeter bore and it got bored out to 75.5 millimeter. And uh, currently the car has a uh, Batara uh, pistons and it has uh, the Manly H beams. And uh, the block was notched so you know everything fit right and doesn't hit. Uh, it also has a block guard. Um, it has um, the Brian Cora. Uh, springs and retainers. Let me see what else it has in here. Uh, the crank is stock, the cam stock, the cam gear is stock. Uh, I got new valve jobs done and all that. Uh, let's see what else has been done to this car. The manifold is still stock. It's still a stock manifold. I bought a Y8 manifold and wanted to swap it out, but it was an automatic and I didn't want to deal with doing an extra step to make it work. So I just kept it pretty original. And uh, so, with this motor right here, we see is uh, it's an eBay uh, manifold, log manifold, top mount, bolts up to it, it's about a hundred bucks. And right here, I believe it's a what was it, a GTW thirty four seventy six? I believe it is. I just got this turbo. Previously, I had the uh, uh, the Garrett fifty trim, and that kind of crapped on me. So I sent it out for a rebuild, and then they offered me a deal on this turbo, so I jumped on it. So this is a GTW 3476, I believe it is. And it's a three inch exhaust going through the side. 
as you can see right here and then I also got a I got a vibrant a vibrant catch can going on all right and what else what else do I have here uh, okay the pipe the charge pipe is two and a half inch from go auto works and I also have a tile blow a valve and a tile wastegate which is a 38 millimeter and uh, let's see what else I got going on here injectors okay the injectors are uh, the LS injectors from Chevy uh, I actually got it from Honda tune shout out to the hand man it's they've been pretty good injectors so far reliable I haven't had any issue with them already so far and uh, so yeah they're uh, 1000 cc's LS injectors you can pick them up dirt cheap check out Honda tune I'm not being paid to say this you know the guy I mean he's an awesome dude man he has a channel on YouTube as well check him out uh, let's see what else what else on here I think that's pretty much it man I don't see anything else it's a pretty simple build and uh, you know it's pretty affordable did I could I have saved a lot of money on this car like with my build and everything else yes I could have uh, but again you know I built this car for me and that's the way it should be you should build a car for you not for anybody else um, and right here my um, my, my which call let's see let's see let's see let's see what else is on here everything else is pretty stock everything else is pretty stock oh okay I forgot to mention I do got a four bar map sensor on here and then what else let's see a little uh, there ain't really nothing to mention but that's from uh, you know AutoZone a little filter but yeah guys this is my build man it's pretty simple uh, nothing fancy to it you can really do this build for dirt cheap if you're dedicated and patient uh, for me you know once I dropped the car off at the machine shop I just really wanted to get it all done so I spent a lot of money on machine work and all that and the parts I bought all brand new so it cost me uh, quite a bit but all in all what how much do I have into this motor Let's see. I think about three thousand dollars actually. I put about three thousand into this engine as a sit. All right, you may not believe me, but I got the receipt to prove it. As you can see right here, it says twenty eighty five, but that doesn't include the rods and pistons and some of the things that I purchased. Uh, right here, you can tell, like this thing had a lot of work done to it. It had a lot of work done to it and I'm very happy with it as a sit uh, we're currently not at 100% of the power goal that I want to be at originally my power goal was like 400 and then I wanted to, I started shooting for like 5, 550 so we're not quite there yet but honestly we're just retuning this car on E85 or C85 or whatever I mean it'll be at like 600 easy you know my only worry about this car is I don't want the transmission to go out I don't trust that clutch 100%. It's an eBay clutch. Um, I forgot what kind of clutch it is, but it's a six puck clutch from eBay. I forgot what brand. But uh, all right, so let's let's uh, go on the inside. What else does this car have? ARP head studs. I forgot to mention that this car also does have ARP head studs, and it's tuned on a Honda S300. See the little sticker here? Help me out. Sometimes I'll be forgetting what I have on here. But as you look, the interior is pretty much stock. It's, I haven't really done a whole lot to it. The seats are at the stock, Dell Soul seats. And I just had them custom wrapped. Uh, and that's, uh, I don't think it really matters how much I pay for that. But, you know, this is something that I wanted to do for myself. So I went ahead and got it done. And I think that was about 1800 bucks for the seats. Yeah, it might be a little overcharged, but not just the labor rate around here. Steering wheel, I did recently did a video on it, and that was, man, that was, I think, what, I paid 50 bucks for it? I got it for a steal, y'all. And so far, all I got is three different gauges, which is, uh, I got my boost gauge, air fuel ratio, and on my water temp gauge. Water temp is still not hooked up. I've been slacking, but I will get that done soon. I've just been focused on other things and I've been traveling a lot for work. Right here, I got the Treadstone intercooler. Forgot to mention that earlier. But the Treadstone intercooler, I got that from my buddy for a man, for a steal. 
so that's what I'm using right here and ain't nothing else going on here with this car man it's just a simple build guys anybody can do it and you know if you're dedicated and patient enough like I said you can do it for so much less but just the motor alone I put about three grand in it and the turbo it's like that's like a thousand dollar turbo and then the exhaust that's a few hundred bucks so let's say let's see three thousand four thousand uh that gauges and everything honestly the gauges and everything else to completely turbo the car the charge pipes the ecu and all that stuff i think it's about 600 bucks i mean i'm sorry six thousand that's all about six thousand i believe right here invest into this car into the power plant i would say the clutch was cheap that was like 150 bucks or so all right the wheels what is my wheel setup it's fairly simple um what you see here is the xxrs 521 it's a uh, 16 by 8 and the offset is 20 and it's sitting right now on um yonakas that's where i got the shirt from this is actually a free shirt that came with uh my coilovers on the bottom but the coilovers are yonakas and front and rear i bought them brand new for like 450 bucks um right here before I finally got my, my height adjustment and everything right, my car was rubbing pretty bad. That's where that's why I got all this black spot. And you can tell my car got banged up pretty bad. The tire got ate up a lot. It's because he was digging to the you know the fenders and stuff. But that's taken care of guys. That's taken care of. You know. Um future plans for this car. I do want to get the interior nicer. And what else pretty much i want to get the interior nicer and i want to get this car to run tens i do um uh, i try to i try to go to the racetrack today i try to check out this racetrack uh the, it was a maryland international raceway for the first time because i ain't never been there i'm still new to this area and it was i wasn't gonna make it in time let me just put it that way i was like an hour 15 minutes away and the track closed in like 30 minutes there's no way in hell i was gonna make it there on time not even on a motorcycle not in hell. No, there's no way in hell. Yep, but this is my car, y'all. If you guys got any question, please leave it down below the comments. And, uh, you know, please hit the smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not a subscriber. If you are a subscriber, hey, I thank you very much for your support. You know, uh, you guys uh, you guys are awesome, man. You know, I know uh, some of you who are very uh, dedicated to uh you know my videos and all and I, some of you guys i met in person and always ask me about the car man you know i, I do thank you for your support you know don't let i as a, as a channel grow man I, I you know my goal is to do some stuff for y'all man maybe do some free get, uh, giveaways in the future and all that so y'all just hang with me man you know this car is just the beginning we have more things to come guys hey peace out